So I forget, and I'm like, I'm sitting there, I'm like, what? <laughs> and I go, and then I see it, I see it across on the rail, I'm like, target acquired. <laughs> and so, and so the, the, like the thing, like the rail is like twice size, the size is on me. So I actually managed to jump off, like this is a split moment decision, you know, like fight or flight or go get. So I jump up and I start running. And in my mind, I was jumping over the purses and the briefcase and the, and the backpacks. Like I was doing backflips and things. It probably looked more like a Donkey Kong scenario where like, bing, bing. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the game over. So I finally reach it. I reach it. I'm like, yes. That's a six year old. Imagine a six year old on a rail. Gradually, yes. But it was too late. So I actually get in the machine. <laughs> this is a true story. I get into the, I, I'm going through the machine, everything changes. Everybody's freaking out on the other side, the noise is, it's gone. I go through, and on the left of me there's these lights, you know, laser going through. That's probably the one that's gonna give me brain damage, <laughs> radiation. These beautiful stellar lights. And on the right of me there's this, there's this green sheet, and there's this guy, and his face is priceless. It's just, <laughs> Again? <laughs> so we pass through, and uh, so I'm going through it's like this euphoric experience. It's like rebirth, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's like euphoric, it probably came from the radiation, but you know, whatever. So we're passing through, and then on the other side, you know, it's like the light of the tunnel. So you get through, oh! <laughs> Everybody's laughing. What I interpreted as cheers. Everybody's cheering. It's like, Whoa! we got it. I'm like walking, I'm like, <laughs> and so I get through, and then immediately my mother pulled me like off. Like, What's wrong with you? And I, my mom was freaking out. She was super embarrassed, of course, because I shouldn't go through airport machines, <laughs> like a human bomb or something. Uh, and uh, but I can imagine the reactions on my on my on my father, who was probably just like he was shocked at first, and then he sees it, and everybody's cheering. He's like. That's my kid. <laughs> That's my boy. And, uh, and so, and so that, and then the reaction of my sister, she's probably too young to even, to even conceptualize this, but I bet, I bet she was like, I oh, need to get all the attention. <laughs> Come on. I gotta make more moves, you know? So eventually, so my mom pulls me aside. That was so bad, what's wrong? 
and it was just it was talking. Of course, like I was kind of half horrified and half excited because it just <coughs> made a huge. I just went through rebirth, you know. Um, so, and I, and I realized I started thinking about this. Like my mom later in life prefers my sister to me <laughs> in the sense that, in the sense that, like I've, I've done so many horrible things because when my sister couldn't walk, I was the one running around being a total animal. <laughs> and so. Uh, and so, for example, on the plane, on the plane, I'd like run up and down the corridors. And you'd know, like, 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 you'd be sleeping, and then you'd see, like, and then, like, the people behind us would be sitting there, and I'd just pop over the chair, like, they were like, they're like, stop bothering me, I'm sleeping. So, uh, so that was that's what I was like, and I think this set a precedent for future, for the future. For example, last night, last night. We had a dinner. This happened last night. I, I'm so glad this happened. I, so what happened was my mom's here. She's we're eating dinner on this table. I'm right here. My sister's right here. Okay. And my sister, what she does, she eats her food. And what kind of a weird, triple group family? And so um, <laughs> you know. Uh, and what she does is she eats her food and then she burps and blows it in my face. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh my god. And I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm about to go random mode on her. I'm about to go like, you know, like that, that mode again. And so I'm, I grab some beans and I'm about to throw it at her. And then I kind of like, eh, and I kind of throw the beans, but I didn't, nothing happened. My mom just looks at me and she's like, Rock, what's wrong with you? She threw it in my face and blew it. Okay, whatever. And to give you an idea of what the relationship between my sister and I is like, there's this iconic scene in The Simpsons with Bart and Lisa. And Lisa goes up to Bart and she's like poking him. And every time Lisa pokes him, Bart's like, I'll put it, 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 I'll put it. For five minutes. Until eventually Bart's like, and then Lisa just runs. That's the same thing. Lucy goes up to me in my room, knocks the book out of my hand, the whatever I'm holding, like smashes my face into the keyboard. The worst. And extra violent. My mom doesn't know what's happening because she's not there. This, my sister plans these perfectly. She just goes up to me, boom! My mom's not there. And so then, and so then I'm angry and she knows I'm gonna go into that rabbit mode. So I immediately switch my oh! so I go, and I go running after her across the hallway, and then my mom steps out. She sees me running after my sister. My sister's like, oh, no. oh. and my mother grabs me by the ear and pulls her side like, oh, Tommy, ow, oh. and it's like, oh, oh. So I hope we're grabbing at each other. It's just horrible communication, you know. And uh, we continue. I love you, mom. Uh, uh, I love you too, Lizzie. And, uh, and, this, and this, even when you and I had nothing to do with it, I always get in trouble. This one time, my sister, she had her boots, her boots were wet. And my mom's like, Lizzie, go set your boots out to dry. And my, my sister goes, and her, you know, she, she, she understood that as, go put them outside. Unfortunately, she didn't notice that it was rain. So she puts them outside. An hour later, they're soaked, they're full of water. And my mother comes, and she's like, Lucy, come over here. And she squaddles over, you know. She's like, what? And Lucy, and my mom's like, Lucy, you left your boots out in the rain. You, Whoa. idiot. <laughs> Rocco! <laughs> Where are you? scenario that's happening in our family right now, okay? And my mom also, she just gives the weirdest advice. When I'm in need of help, she just, she just goes up to me, and like, she goes up to me, she's like, Rojo, are you okay? And I'm like, I don't know, uh, uh, tough week is over. And mom's like, hey, that's, I'm sorry about that, honey. You know what helps? What would help? Doing the laundry. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Are you sick? Yeah, I got this horrible bug. Clean the poop! Who <laughs> needs therapy? Who needs therapy when you can mow the lawn? Anyways, is that? Alright, hey, thank you so much. That's all the time I have.